Hello YouTube, Infinite Imaginary Community, Gandalf here. Uh, we are with the Easter event, so let's do a quick coverage over what we have. So make sure you do your holiday check-in. Uh, looks like it's seven days. Uh, you got 3,000 energy here with 700 gems, some extra summons. Let's go to the Easter party. Uh, limited time dungeon is back. You have a legendary dragon eye in here. As soon as I finish this video, I will work on this and share a quick guide on clearing this. Uh, I think it might be very similar to last year as we've seen the general trend now is they're just repeating repeating the, the, the events here. Uh, I do remember last year, it does get a little bit tricky to sneak past some of the bunnies, so look forward to that video if you're stuck. Uh, the first event is basically you can get to the guaranteed... Um, Hero selection with a stamp, you get everything up to Ukong, which is very nice. Um, and you have a very small chance, okay, very small 2% chance of getting a hero selection chance chest, which is very RNG based, but does look very attractive. But let's look at what is the cost to getting this. In the market, uh, we can see we get one a day. So that will be, we're putting us at 16 tokens. And let's see how much we need to buy. Um, so we got three here, putting us at 19 value packs. We see six, 10, 16, and 45. So yeah, so basically the first set of rewards here, and these I believe are in USD, uh, just doing the value packs will allow you to finish uh, finish all of it. So typically same cost. So you're guaranteed one and if you have good RNG you might be able to pick up another one. So again um, I am broke so I won't be doing this but um, but if you happen to have the money to whale away as a new player especially if you're looking for some past limited heroes that you didn't have a chance to pick up again this is a great way of picking it up. They have these events every month don't feel like this is FOMO. Uh, don't fall into the FOMO. Uh, definitely not, you know, free to play. You can you can just save for the rerun and get it through the regular summons. Uh, let's look at the colorful tile. This is really cool. Uh, this is, seems to be something new. So flip all the tiles to get this. Uh, complete three daily quests. So you complete the three daily quests. So I think this is the new way of doing the path, right? So flip all the tiles to get it. And when you match the entire row, you get this reward. Um, you need a total of 36 uh, tiles. I think the you can the quest will keep unlocking, so you need to finish all the quest. Um, and then I think the prior day quest will be in there. So let's see if there's any summon requirements. No, I don't think so. And I don't know if um, the rewards will be cumulative. Let's let's do a quick try. Let's let's participate in a dungeon, and let's see if it counts towards future days. So, let's just quickly do our boss here. Okay. By the way, two turn, <laughs> two turn to knock out the boss. We'll quickly do three here, and then we'll go see if the rewards carry over. If not, we gotta be really careful about doing these events. Let's go back. Um, our quest, it looks like they carry forward. So, so don't worry about, you know, timing it or saving your, your rewards. It looks like it's the same battles every day. You just, you can just start working on it now and you just go in there and collect the rewards in later days. Uh, the next one's a holiday sign in. So we already showed that limited dungeon. Then you have the good deals, 250 bucks as usual. This is like the same deals all the time. Now I would say you have to buy it in order. So only really go after it if you feel like you need all of these early. Um, yes, this seems a good deal in terms of compared to just buying it straight out, but if you don't really need any of these extra rewards in four, it is kind of a waste. Um, 255 bucks, I think, or 245 USD um, to get to the end. It is quite expensive, but do remember to pick up the free one. Uh, we all love freebies. Holiday pass, so here's the holiday path. Um, Claim the rewards. The path is for some extra summons. I would always get the battle path before this one. Uh, doesn't I never find this one. This is probably the least value of all the $20 packs. Finally, holiday packs, um, you know, whatever 
heck, heck you want to buy there. All right, so that is the event in a nutshell. Quick overview. Uh, I'm going to get on the, the next video, and hopefully, you know, this quick overview helps you in terms of figuring out what you want to spend on this particular event. Gandalf out.